What's good, internet? My name is Attack Slug. Welcome back to SmackDown vs. Raw 2011, the road to WrestleMania. And it is time for a tag team match playoff. It's Jericho vs. Kofi and Triple H. And so I welcome you to a fine Friday here on the program. Tonight's perplexing pixels will be on Rush on the Xbox One X. That'll be up in a couple of hours here for you fine folks to watch. It was fun to film, so please go watch it. Uh, anyway, there is that. Uh, not much else going on, I guess. Uh, perhaps more live streams of Jurassic World Evolution this evening. Fingers crossed. We'll see. Uh, but there is wrestling things to discuss, as there always are every freaking day of the week. First and foremost being that I did watch that entire live stream of The Elite and The New Day in Street Fighter V at E3. It was like an hour and a half yesterday. And overall... I find it to be quite enjoyable, quite entertaining. It was very sports entertainment, if you will. Uh, and it felt like, oh, this is kind of a setup. Like, it went to a part where, all right, well, it's best of five. You end up in that last final thing. Like, it went to the best of five type deal where you're like, hmm, that seems kind of scripted a little bit. But overall, I found it to be quite enjoyable. Outside of a handful of technical issues where there were some microphone glitches where you couldn't hear guys talking and... That kind of thing was not great. So, on their tech side, play a few botches there. Don't have Sin Cara running your tech stuff, seriously. But, of course, at the very end, where they totally dropped all kayfabe and all pretense and stuff, and said, no, yeah, we're friends, it's fine. Like, Jim Cornette was somewhere having an aneurysm. Being like, you don't drop kayfabe. What are you doing? Stop pulling the curtain. I mean, obviously, you've already exposed the business enough in the business. Stop exposing the business any further. I mean, like, we, we know. Just because we know doesn't mean you have to immediately go, oh, yeah, it was all made up. Come on. Come on. Seriously. Like, for all that time spent between Omega and Jericho having this heated blood feud in New Japan, and then immediately afterwards having a podcast on how they did it, I'm like, I, I don't need that. Right? Let me believe I don't need that part of it. Jericho... Anyway, to follow up upon the bits uh, from yesterday concerning the Triple H Ring of Honor... Triple H. Triple A Ring of Honor stuff. Uh, there actually are two separate shows. I was confused. I thought it was going to be a combination show. But the intent for Triple A is to run MSG uh, this September. The intent for Ring of Honor is to run the Garden next year. But not only are they going to attempt to run the Garden next year... They want to run it the day before WrestleMania. Keeping in mind that WrestleMania is going to be here in New Jersey. And the Garden, not that far away. So they're directly in competition. Now, that's going to be obviously the, the, the same day as TakeOver. Which is kind of weird. But uh, not the first time that they've, they've had Ring of Honor go head-to-head -head with a TakeOver. Like, so that's not surprising. But, yeah, TakeOver would be, I, I guess, at the Barclays or... I don't know. But in any event, they kind of want to go head-to-head, -head, and they want to run in the world's most famous arena that has previously only held WWE events. So that's going to be an interesting fight to see how that thing pans out in the long and the short run. But that is their current intent, uh, from what I hear here, in the rumor mill and such. And the high knee from Triple H. The game, uh, the champ, yeah. Haha. -ha. The rollout, and then he punches Big Show. I'm sorry, Show. I had to take a breather here to fight the game a little bit more. Because he is the champion, and therefore he is a tough bit of an opponent. Unlike Kofi, who got tapped out on a signature. So, you know, there was that. Anyway, anyway. Um, another bit of a follow-up here. Uh, some additional evidence that was not presented in the CM Punk trial against the Doctor. It appears... That not only did, did the doctor violate HIPAA, you know, not only did, did, did he prescribe medications without documenting them, not only did he discuss his patients uh, with other people, he also apparently was having a romantic relationship with one of his patients, a.k.a. a WWE diva, a.k.a. Jillian Hall. So that is a serious breach of ethics, and it would not surprise me if the medical board revokes his license at some point. 
I have heard that his contract is not up until October, so I don't see them renewing his contract. Now, at that point, can he try to sue again for lost wages or some nonsense? Sure, he could try. I wouldn't recommend it, but he could. Uh, but man, they really set him up as a fall guy. Like, good God, did they set him up just totally. He is just way worse for wear than when he started this whole thing, and he should not have sued. Just, it was a bad idea. It was a phenomenally bad idea. Big Show. Speaking of bad ideas. Speaking of the Big Show. Get over there. No, Big Show, you're... You're the worst, Big Show. You are the absolute, positively, the worst. I could have had Triple H there. I hit him with the code breaker. That could have happened. It didn't happen. Anyway, moving on. Noam Dar is apparently cleared for action. So perhaps we'll be seeing him back on 205 Live in the near future. So, we'll see. We'll see. Always possible. Anyway, let's uh, take Triple H here. And boom, I missed. And boom, I missed. Wow, I am just absolute trash. Because I don't want to be set close to the ropes when I lock in the walls of Jericho. When I break the walls down. What? No. Game. Uh, there we go. All right. So that, that's pretty... Well, at this point, it's just a co-breaker. I did too long. Oh, really? With the high knee? And he's going to tag in Kofi. Because of course he is. Make this tag team match last even longer. Even longer. Lame. I'm going to lose the finisher here. I'm going to lose it. No, Kof. Not happening, Kof. Get up. Get up. Get up. I missed it. I totally botched that. Anyway... Moving on to news here, we have Morrow is not calling TakeOver this weekend. Uh, apparently prior engagements with uh, boxing on Showtime. So we get the 205 team plus Percy, I think. Yeah, I think that that's, that, that, that's the case for our TakeOver announcing. So unfortunately, we're not going to hear any very loud Mamma Mia, Tope Suicida, etc, etc. So that's unfortunate, but it is what it is. Honestly, just put Booker T on there. I would pop for that pretty hard. Because every time that coach is gone now, we, 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 we get Booker T on Raw, and it's great every time. Now, I'm not sure how much I would prefer Booker T without having Corey to antagonize him. Because that is a core part of it, is that those two have very good chemistry on the microphone. So, I appreciate that. But, I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, uh, let's try to get another... Signature here, and another finisher here on one Kofi Kingston, Jamaican Me Crazy. Because this has been uh, all Jericho thus far. Haven't even needed to tag in the world's largest athlete and whatnot. And when is he coming back to do one of our matches? I don't want to see it, but he signed like a three-year deal, so um, it's probably going to happen. It's probably going to happen. Continuous power bombs, and then roll through. Big Show not paying attention. And here comes Triple H. Or not. Triple H, wow. He just like, I don't uh, care. It seems like Chris Jericho's fortunes have officially been reversed. That makes it three weeks in a row with three big matches and three huge wins. If he keeps up his momentum, he may just find himself carrying championship gold after Royal Rumble. And Big Show may become the new WWE Champion. Momentum is on their side. Is a change into the guard inevitable on Raw? But he didn't pin Triple H, so he didn't actually pin the champion. So that's significant in some way, I guess. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Monday Night Raw. We are less than one week away from the Royal Rumble, and as we head toward the big event, it's quickly becoming clear who has the advantage. Is it me? Last week, big is it me? Chris Jericho team together to pick up a convincing win over their opponents for the Royal Rumble. And that's given them some huge momentum. Show and Jericho found success joining forces again. But can they keep it going until Royal Rumble? We'll find out tonight. Do I have another tag match? I'd, I, I'd prefer not, but that kind of is what it is at this point, I guess. The game's going to say, hey, tag match player. Holla, holla. Hey, Kofi. You may have two in a row on me, Jericho. But when it counts, you won't be beating me. At Royal Rumble, I'm still going to be United States Champion, no matter what you do. But I was just trying to give you the gift of Jericho. 
Steph. Steph. Chris, I'd recognize your knock anywhere by the fact that I didn't hear it. Huh. You want me to wear a bell? No. I want you to get your hand raised tonight. That is, if you want a match against Kofi at the Royal Rumble. Fine. The Chris Jericho who lost a couple of matches to Triple H is gone. I'm all winner now. Okay, but who am I gonna fight? We'll find out shortly. What's going? Oh, Glamorella! Hell yeah! Do you mind, Chris Jericho? We are trying to have a private discussion. Sorry to interrupt the loser convention, guys. But you're in a public place. I want to know what Glamorella is saying. I want. I want to know. I want to know. Glamorella, they were awesome. Jericho vs. Chris Master, the masterpiece. Carlito Swagger, Beth and Maurice vs. Mickey and Kelly, Santino and Primo, and the Big Show vs. HB, a shizzle, if you will. Speaking of HBK. Chris, hold on a second. The icon. A little friendly heads up. There's a certain gigantic bad dresser who's looking to have some words with you, and it didn't sound like nice ones either. I could take care of myself, Sean. But let's back up a little. You're calling someone a bad dresser? The sexy boy with the chaps? No, the claws are out. All that losing has made you a bit testy. Maybe you haven't been paying attention lately. But that losing streak is all in the past. Just like you. Don't make me reintroduce you to the Geratron 5000. Oh, Mark Henry. Listen, get lost. All right. I also don't want to be in the Hall of Pain, so there is that bit of beardness. Okay, what's going on with the big show and such, you big nasty bastard? Chris, I know you must be feeling a little starstruck after teaming with a future WWE champion. Good luck, show, but be careful what you wish for. I'm coming after the WWE Champion. It doesn't matter who it is. Could be Triple H. It could be you. I could sit here and listen to your idle threats. But I have a main event to Whoa. prepare for. So why don't you go warm up the crowd so I can knock them dead later? I mean, just in terms of match quality. Just in terms of pure match quality, Big Show. Wait, what? I didn't hit a button there, so I didn't, did I, what? All right, well, I guess we're going to fight the big show here for a bit. I didn't mean to, but this, that's what we're doing now. That was a ch challenge match, bonus objective, something. Sure, why not? Um, yes, yes, no, go, go, go. Yeah, okay. Chris Jericho power bombs Big Show into the... Anyway, as I was saying, as I was saying, um, I didn't want to do that. Uh, the fact that Chris Jericho match quality is gonna, obviously going to be way bigger than Big Show match quality. Code breaker. Just overall is how it goes. Anyway, um, last bit of a news story here is not, it's just kind of an, an announcement. And that is the fact that we will have our first tidbits and details on 2K19 on Monday. It's going to be a live stream at uh, 8 a.m. Pacific, which means uh, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time and such. And that's going to be interesting. Uh, I would imagine perhaps a cover star and perhaps a release date will be part of that bit of business. I, don't, I can't imagine much else, but, you know, who knows? Perhaps they're... Perhaps their marketing plan is different this year. That is the deal there, and I'm curious. Obviously, I'm always curious what's going to happen with the 2K games as I play them every year, and they're kind of busted every year. So there is that. I don't, know. I, I don't know. I don't know. I want this year to be different. I really do. But I've been saying that for like four years now, and it kind of hasn't been. It's kind of been just the same trash. So, you know... There, there are pieces and bits that could make for a good game. They just don't quite get there each and every year. So I'm not going to get my hopes up. But I will certainly be watching their live stream business uh, on Monday. 
Well then, uh -oh. I didn't. Oh, you look awful, show. As your good buddy, I'll take your place in the WWE Championship match at the Royal Rumble. You're lucky to have a friend like me. Well, I guess I'll get out of here. I've got a big weekend ahead of me. That's kind of not how wrestling works, and I didn't know I could actually do that. But cool. I get to avoid a match with Chris Masters, so cool. All right. Chris, I'm going to need to see you in my office immediately. It's about the championship see, matches tonight. I knew it. It couldn't be that easy. I knew it. Anyway, I'm a tax slug. Thanks for watching. More videos every day. I'll see you next time right here on this channel. And I'm out.